get some map control and get ready for that P2. Yeah, man. We are looking at the POV of the uh, of Saucy from the Manitoba Mallards right here, running through this barn area, seeing they're going to try to keep control of these spawns because they do got the favorable spawns. You can see Saucy already starts off with a nice first blood. There is two that went down in the favor of Manitoba Mallards, but then there's two more that go down by Boston Burgers. And this hill is all of the Manitoba Mallards right now as they got 11 to 0 lead to start off this hard point. Hey, that's a nice start when it comes to this P1, exactly what you want. But, I mean, that side of Boston, you know, I'm going to try to get that map control for that P2 side. They do have it, but, you know, they're losing some really quality time on this P1. But, I mean, that doesn't matter because they get every single kill on the map. They've got the P2 side and the P1 control now. But the side of Manitoba here fighting their way back across the map. Looks like they're fighting for that P2 side. But Mischief, going to cut that one off, pick up some big kills here. Another one in Zig to go for. No, runs out of ammo, but goes for the beatdown on the four streak right now. One more to deal with in the hill. Okay, this chief, just chill for one second. Mans is on a five streak, six and one on the map right now, and just wreaking havoc on this Manitoba squad. Yeah, man, he finally just got chopped down before he got to a seven streak, but Boston Burgers are in full control of this P2 hill as 10 seconds already. Chopped off the clock is 25 to 20 right now on the score clock right now. The first player that's going to come up is Remy. See if he can get over. He instantly gets traded out by Shoku. Mills is watching the back. Floof bot is, I mean, watching over Mills over the back. Mills is just being this guy, being credit into this dig area. See if he can find two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. he found a nice two. Manitoba, I mean, Boston Burgers right now are rolling with full control of the speed two. Yeah, I mean, Mills currently on an eight streak and looking to keep that going is just holding down this middle of the map zig area, getting ready to rotate to the back with some help. Going for the ninth right now, just ring around the rosy a little bit. Doesn't end up getting it, does get some help though. And it just feels like every kill on the map for the last little bit has been going in favor of Boston. I mean, they got Mischief on a six kill streak. They got Mills on an eight. And I mean, Mischief just getting streaks there. Like there's just streaks coming out of everywhere for the side of Boston as this map right now is just going in their favor. Yeah, man, but you can see Manitoba Mallards, they finally got themselves control of this hill right now. Why you got Boston Burgers coming from the front. So let's see if they can defend this first line defense brought on by the, uh, the Boston Burgers. And there's K9 right there with a nice three kills to take out these Boston Burgers. But the spawns currently have flipped. I think that these players from the side of Manitoba know that as, as K9 goes on to a five streak, see if K9 can try to get his six streak. But there's Salzy and K9 in there getting the kills before they finally get taken out. Boston Burgers do break in, but sleep. She's here. He's here, and he gets the kill looking for Flubot, but Flubot with a nice kill from the window. And there's Boston Burgers collecting horses of scrap time, and you can see the rotation is on, and player eight, and that show cools already in the back. Yeah, he's going to get all the way in that back 10, grabbing those spawns for his team, which they'll, they'll get over there eventually, but the side of Manitoba has a lot of mid-map and, like, barn presence right now, so... The side of Boston going to have to push up across that riverside to really secure those spawns. They're going to start getting some of the kills towards this barn as the kills go back and forth. But Mischief from the side, I mean, yeah, the kills are literally just going back and forth. Big trades out of everyone, but Boston going to secure those spawns. But look at that, the side of Manitoba and Saucy going to be pushing around the back right now. So those spawns are going to be flipping. But guess who's on the hill? It's Boston. They're picking up the kills. Shoku on the stairs right now. Doing his best impersonation of Harry Potter, but on top of him instead of below him, <laughs> his kills are definitely going back and forth in favor of Manitoba. Yeah, man, it's over right now. We control that first 30 seconds of this hill to try to bring this game back. They're only eight seconds down right now. So they keep getting these kills right now. You can see them tying this game up, but they're so cool. Right here with a nice contestant right here. See if you can find one. He does find one. Flubot has his back. Mills with a nice kill on the sleep. And there is Boston Burgers. Probably going to get control of this scrap time. There is a slight contestant. K9 does get that. Rotation is currently on for the Boston Burgers. And you can see Mischief with a nice kill on the rotation of Boston Burgers are going to start off with early control of this P5 hill. Yeah, I mean, if they're not careful, Manitoba's going to go on the back, but guess what? They've got Mills, so that's not even a problem as he's going to pick up those kills and uh, try to help his team out control these spawns and everything. And right now, I mean, Boston's doing a solid job when they do actually get their setups on the map the way they want them. They get plenty of time. They're getting the kills they want. And I mean, Floofy on that 5 streak, you've already got two people on this Boston team with full streaks. Now, if Floofy can get two more and get those streaks, you got to think the end of this game is just, I mean, it, it's literally going to feel like in, like nonstop bombing runs with the amount of glide bombs that'll come in. 
Yeah, man, and that's going to be great for the side of the Boston Burgers. But what's even better for them right now is that they are accruing hard point time, taking a 120 to 76 lead, 10 seconds to go on this hard point. They have full control. They're getting ready to rotate to this P1. You can see player number five, that's Fluvbot, making his way to the back before he finally gets gunned down, trying to get control of those P2 spots, but he gets gunned down. So when his P1 starts off, man, so Mallards, they are going to be on this hill, but they got to watch out for mischief coming from the top of Grandma's. But there's Remy. Saying no, sir, you getting taken down. Mills, he get he goes into Barnes before he gets traded out. So Manitoba Mallers are in control of this hill, but here comes a glide bomb. Mishoku with a nice kill right there. That glide bomb does come in. It's just enough to really, you know, probably get some info and just kind of distract people from what they're doing. But Saucy, that man's getting some big kills in the middle of the map before getting taken down by none other than Mills, who's 24 and 13, by the way. K9, look at him push around this backside for these spawns. He runs into two. He does actually manage to get one, but he's got to run into Floofy there as well. He's going to pick that up. And Boston, I, I don't know about you, Top Life, but doesn't it just feel like they're getting a lot of quality time from a lot of, like, like a lot of these, like, nice points right here? I mean, obviously the first rotation on P1, they didn't get a ton of time, but this one, it feels like they've done well to make sure they control the map. They get a decent amount of time from it, and they just keep on moving. Yeah, and then on the first set of rotations, they started off big with this P2. And listen, they're gonna they're gonna start off again with early control of this P2. So they can make this another money hill like they did the first time. You can see them clearly getting to the 200 point mark. And they are starting off with the opening first kill with Mischief getting that kill onto Remy. There is another kill that Shoku got on the K9. The kills are just going in their favor right now. The Boston Burgers, 20 seconds of the hill time went into their favor. Now the hill is just getting mixy CNK. Yeah, I mean, it's been staying mixy, that's for sure. But it feels like the whole game's been pretty mixy for the most part, other than the fact where, like, Mills and Mischief just absolutely pop off, which, by the way, Mills doing it again. The guy's 30 and 14. Like, the guy's just... He, he can't be fun to play on this map right now. He's going to rotate to that back. He's going to pick up some guys on the rotation. He's going to go for those back spawns. He's going through the tunnel. And guess what? He's already got some people trying to cut him off. He's got a guy above him right now doing a little ring around the rosy around tower. He's going to end up getting shot in the front and the back, but that's going to be enough of a distraction to let his teammates move up the map. Which Manitoba doing a good job locking down this backside right now, trying to get some quality time on this this P3 hill. But I mean, at some point you got to think with the way Boston's been playing, they're gonna break it eventually. Yeah, but there's right now that's three kills in the favor of the Manitoba Mallards to hold off this first line defense. The first last player up is the Shoku, but he's getting shot at, so he's backing up. He's waiting for his teammates. There is three kills that went in the favor. For the for the uh, Boston Burgers, but the kill feed went back and forth. There is a break right there, but the Manitoba Mallers come out on top with two kills by Saucy and Sleep to hold this down. Shoku first one up, but Saucy's already pre-aiming that, backing him up. 130 to 185 game. This rotation is going to be big. Which team is going to get? There is four kills that went in the side of Boston Burgers as they seem like they're going to break in to get the scrap time, but but Manitoba Mallers do have that backside spawn. Yeah, I mean, Manitoba going to be stuck in that back spawn, trying to cross bridge right now to try to get to this this P4 hill, but the side of Boston set up towards the middle of the map, but Manitoba just kind of walked through mid there somehow, but Mischief and the boys not letting that one happen for free as he's going to push in from the side. Going to pick up a couple right there. He's on a four streak at the moment, and now this time going in favor of Boston, but guess what? K9 coming from downtown. He's going to pick up two big kills. He goes to the back sauce. He picks up two. I mean, sorry, one. K9 picks up that third and that's going to be full hill control and spawn control for them for the quick flip. Yeah, and that's a great job by the Montour Mallards because they need to try to make themselves get back into this game. It's 197 to 152. So this precious hard point time is what they need. Remy just jumped off the time trying to get some kills. K9 is currently on a five before he gets taken down, giving this Boston Burgers team some time to get on this hill. But the kills are just going in the favor of Montour Mallards. They're getting that last kill. But Boston Burgers are doing a great job of making this hill very mixy, very contested. It seems like Manitoba Mallard may get the rest of the scrap time and player two saucy. He's already on this rotation. K9 with a nice rotation kill. So when this battle is going to be a battle right now in the back between two Boston Burger players and two Manitoba Mallard players. And we're going to see who's going to get control of this kill as it's going to be 200 to 158 as this P5 starts off. Yeah, I mean, Boston just doing a nice job just maintaining that lead. Even though we've seen the side of Manitoba have some nice bursts in this game, Boston has somehow managed to just every time have these plays like this where Mischief walks up the middle of the map, picks up two, gets the great team fire over the top. They pick up all four kills right there. They get the hill control back. They get the spawns fully locked down.
and now they're getting some really really good time here 28 seconds left on the hill they're already at that 220 mark as well in the game I mean, it, things are getting scary for the way Bokaj plays this in map, but the side of Manitoba, they're definitely not out of it yet. And you got guys like K9 who's out here picking up a nice kill right there, but Mills gets a nice kill with some help from Floofy right there as they're going to have to rotate for this P1 soon. But, I mean, the side of Manitoba, you got an uphill battle right now, and it, it's going to be a really difficult one with the way Mills and Mischief are playing right now. Yeah, and the way that Bocage plays out, you know, 20 points is going to be very easy to try to, you know, try to come by. It's going to be try to hard to try to defend those certain points, but they're doing a great job right now of not letting these players from Boston Burgers get on. There is three kills in the favor of the Manitoba Mallards. They're just trying to dodge this glide bomb as it comes in by Mills. It does not hit anybody, but these Manitoba Mallards players are still currently on the hill, still fighting for these back spawns, but so cool. Makes the play to clear out those Manitoba Mallards, but they're still spawning back late, so they're doing a great job right now, not letting these Boston Burger players get any time on this P1 as they try to control those P2 spawns. I mean, Saucy, as I say it, he gets taken down. All four players from the side of Boston, I mean, sorry, uh, Manitoba just get absolutely annihilated off the map there, but I mean, they were doing absolutely fantastic, like you were just saying, on that P1 there for a moment, but this, this Boston squad, I mean, eventually just going to shut it down, right? They do end up clearing out that P1 once again, but now Boston going to have to fight for this P2. But, I mean, here we go. Here comes the onslaught of streaks. This is going to be the third glide bomb for the side of Boston. It's not going to pick anyone up, but people were definitely running and hiding. Shoku up top, Barn going to pick up one. He's rotating to try to deal with some things in the bottom of the hill. Try to get some team help on this P2. Definitely ends up getting it. They only need eight more seconds to win the game. But the people from uh, Manitoba are just popping out of nowhere at the moment. Coming from Barn, coming from the back. Just everywhere at the moment to take things down. But Boston just set up really well to make sure they can get a stop. Yeah, only three seconds needed. And that is the kill that they need. And Mischief is on the hill. And Boston Burgers win this map. 1250 to 188 to go up 1-0 in this series. And... Man, that was just a great play that we've seen by Mischief is being a nuisance in the side of the Manitoba. I'm excited to see there. what Manitoba can do on this map. Looks like they're starting it out on this uh, offensive side here. I mean, I'm curious to see if they're taking it A, taking it B. You see a couple ARs. It looks like they're going towards that A site right off the bat. Pretty quick here, actually, with the side of Boston. Look at them already spreading their fingers out through the middle of the map. They've got a guy directly on the A bomb, actually on top of the train there, but he's going to back off. Just giving his team some info like hey i saw one or two guys over here we're gonna have to maybe play around that a little bit he's gonna get that stun that's gonna really let his teammates know but he's just got to be careful pushing up because at, at any point in time sleep there in that middle water tower could just try to help out remy on this outer side of the map oh he's being a little aggressive let's see if he gets behind him he does get go. behind him there is the first blood by mills to make it a four three he's looking for two see if he can find two he does find two and there is k9 last man alive k9 does get a kill on to Shoku to make it three to one. Show the K9 just being really playing, really just by himself in the back behind this B building, trying to make a wrap through this university side, going top side, see if he could just find anybody from this Boston Burgers team. They are very spread out to take on these one on one gunfights. But if he can solo them out, he, he's looking for one right now. He finds another kill on to Mills, and that makes it a 1v2. The bomb is currently down, outer on that train area, and K9 does have a tough task in front of him. He didn't get spotted, I don't think, from the middle that middle map point right there. He's going to get spotted right there, though. He's going to get taken down. And job out of Boston, you know, they had their numbers advantage, and they ended up using it overall there at the end, and they're going to go up 1-0 on this map so far. But I tell you what, that's on the back of your boy Mills. Just picking up a nice two kills over on that A train there. Just getting a little aggressive on the map, moving up. Just sneaking up behind some guys and getting some big kills. Yeah, man. He got that big kill, but then he caught himself out of position to get himself, you know, traded out by K9. You know, he could have been on streaks, but now he's currently not on the streak. There's no streaks for the size of Boston Burgers besides the one by Floof Bob, but they did run. Forget the bomb. So they're just being aggressive right now, looking for picks, looking for kills, for they finally did pick the bomb up. Mischief is playing this bottom university. There is a player currently in there. Let's see if they win the gunfight. Remy does win that. There is another kill that went on the sides for the the uh, the mandatory mileage. I think that was K9 got a kill. And now it's a three to two life advantage for the mandatory mileage. Yeah, now Manitoba, having that life advantage you were just talking about, 
like they're gonna have the opportunity to kind of play this a little bit more a little bit more on the safe side they can maybe wait for this bomb to get planted if they want to or they can get aggressive if they really want to but uh, it looks like they're just waiting kind of for any kind of info at this moment and yeah they're gonna get some because someone's taking some fire that back a area mischief trying to make a move here toward the middle of the map gonna hop up top middle building just kind of looking around with the submachine gun, waiting for Mills to also make a move. But now here we go, darting towards this B side. Nobody's watching at the moment. Obviously, he's not going to know that. But the second he throws this grenade, Manitoba's going to know, hey, something fishy is going on over here. But Sazi in the position to be able to take things down. He's going to be out towards that back gun. He's going to pick up one. He's got one more to deal with. He gets a nice kill right there. And Manitoba going to win the round. Yeah, Saucy with a nice play to get all the way into the back to make a nice little pinch and to get those nice little two kills at the end to give the uh, the uh, Boston Burgers that round win and I mean the Matto Mallers that round win and you, the series is tied one one right now so you know Boston Burgers was looking good but Matto Mallers and Saucy just made a great play to tie this this search and destroy up. I mean, here we go, right? This is S&D for you, right? Once you lose a guy on the map, they're gone for good until the next round. And both these teams have used that to the best of their ability two rounds in a row here. And now we're going to see Manitoba trying to get to A site here. Whoever that is, top uh, top tower there. It looks like it's Mills. Almost takes Sazi's head off, but he does barely get out. Now this bomb, Remy is going to get it planted. And K9 going to get a kill on the other side of the map. Sazi with some nice shots there. Back train gets a big kill. Goes on that three streak. And now it's a 2v4 situation. Boston's got to go for the full retake. Yeah, you can see Mischief. He was trying to be aggressive, but I think they spotted him. He finally gets taken down by Flubot. It leaves... It leaves uh, Flubot, oh, Flubot in a 1v3 by himself going against this whole Manitoba Mallard. He finds two, but he's basically going to get traded out by the Manitoba Mallards. Manitoba Mallards winning another round to go up two to one. Hey, I, I'm liking their S&D pacing so far. They're definitely playing really well as a team, and uh, I, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking everything about what we're seeing so far in this S&D, and I mean, hey, it's only a one-round advantage. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm sure even if you're Boston, you're not too worried. Probably a little upset with themselves about a few kills that have gone down on the map or kills that should have happened, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. They're on this offensive side now, and it looks like, guess what? We're going towards the A site. Yeah, they're full sitting for A sitting three players over here. Bomb look like it's going to make his way. You can see player two, Saucy, trying to be aggressive up on the A site as he finds the first Blood onto Shoku, but Mischief trades him out. Sleep and Remy and the rest of the Manitoba Mallards get to clear out the rest of Boston Burgers to go up three to one in this series. That was a nice and quick round. They were just slicing and dicing for sure. But K9, you know, one of those people that like we just keep bringing up a lot when it was in that Bocage and now in this SD, just like has really, really good routes on the map with that sub to where they're like always just getting in a good position to just get some nice kills on the map. Yeah, man, they are doing they they are doing a great job. You see, his three kills by K9. He's on three streaks. He's five and one currently, mm -hmm. right now. As he's and as his team picks up the bomb, looks like they're gonna go for this quick B plant. K9, he's playing outer on this little gun area, waiting for anybody to cross through. Anybody to cross through Shoku with the with the boomstick, but he's just a little bit too slow on the trigger, so he can't get asleep with the first nice bird blood mischief. Gets a kill on sleep, but he gets traded out by Remy. Flu Bites on the bomb, trying to jump, trying to become, trying to be a member of Team Ninja. But he gets found out quickly by Ninja, by Remy. Remy said, Floofy, your access to Team Ninja has been denied. And there is Manitoba Mallers winning that round four to one. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I thought Floofy was going to get that one for sure. But I, you know what? The side of Manitoba's got their bomb checks on lock. And like you just said, just locking him out of... Uh, being on Team Ninja, which, you know, <laughs> I'm sure Floofy right about now would be very happy to be on that. But, I mean, look at Manitoba right now. After the way that Bocage went with the way every single gunfight was going down, now they're up 4-1 in, in this map right now, and they're not looking like they're slowing down at all. Every single round, it feels like they're getting better. Oh, so cool with another shot, but he missed. Yeah, they are getting better right now. I mean, it would help if some of the Boston Burgers could probably hit some of those those snipes. K9 all the way in the back, being super aggressive for his team. Currently on a five streak, seven and one, being a search and destroy desert siege demon. He's just moving around, just being different. But mischief, I think he may have found him. He did find him out, and there's the show. He's gone. 
for a K9. Mischief has finally picked up the bomb. It's three to three life advantage. Look like it may go to this A site, but you can see Matt Troy Mellers are all pushed up past the 50 yard line. Yeah, I mean, Saucy, he's pushed up towards this mid train area. He's going to try to back off, but Mill's going to take him down right away. Now it's a 2v2. Definitely a winnable situation for both teams here. But the side of Boston, obviously, they have no idea where that second player is. That's Bottom University right now. And they have the chance to plant that bomb, but they need to get all the info they can before they just make a move. But Sleep coming around the back is going to get the bomb carry. Doesn't actually get the kill. Now he's going to get pushed. He gets taken down. One more player left alive in the middle. That's Remy. Now Remy versus Mischief in a 1v1 with 13 seconds to go. Mischief spots him up, but Remy just using that movement to get away. He is on that four strike now, but Mischief has to find him. Doesn't have time to get that bomb down. Well, actually, just barely enough, but not anymore. That bomb isn't going to be able to get planted. But uh, Remy, I mean, uses his superior movement there to just get out. But that was looking a little sketchy at first. Yeah, it was. But, man, you know, Remy making the plays, getting out with his life. That's what you need from a guy like that, from your sub, to go in there, get a kill, get out with his life. Non-traded, 5-1 to one advantage for Manitoba Mallards. Look like they just erased that last map out of their mind saying that we're going to go ahead dominate on this desert seat see but they still got to win one more round so i'm calling it before it's too early so let's see if they're going to win this round they got the bomb look like it's going in towards that a site bullets are being fired but nobody has went down until i say that mills gets the first blood onto remy so there's boston burger starting off strong in this round seven right now with a nice open at first yeah i mean it the side of Boston, they're going to have to start stacking rounds at some point, right? Now, this is the best time to start. They do have a kill advantage. That bomb is down. Now, Mill is trying to get another one, but he's just, you know, once again, trying to sneak up that side of the map, try to get a kill like we saw him do in, in the beginning. But guess what? He's going to get taken down by Sleep, who was like, I've seen this play one too many times. We're going to read it like a book this time. Now, he's getting shot at from that top university. That's going to be Mischief. And it just feels like Boston just are afraid to move right now because of the way Manitoba just has a presence and control of this map at all times and now manitoba once again going to have that numbers advantage on this map and they've got the bomb in their hands they do have to get it down but the side of boston yeah they're going to lose another guy and now it's a 3v1 situation mischief going to have to kill all three of these guys to win this one he's going to pick up the first one now it's a 2v1 with that bomb down all right the bomb is down to a mischief is going to have to make the play for his team to keep his team alive in the series, but he runs, woo He runs right into K9, beams him now, it's a 1v1. Him versus Sleep. He knows he's in the back, he knows he's back here, so he's running around, he's looking for him. He's trying to see if he can find this guy anywhere. He's jumping on top of the tray, he's not up there. So he's looking through every train car, because this is how Manitoba Mallard has been playing. They just been in those spots, you don't expect them to be, and now he's fine, he's gonna have to hop on the bomb, see if he can find, just hop it. Well, there's the gunfight oh. right there by the Manitoba Mallards to win that round, to win the Search and Destroy 6-1, to tie this series up 1-1, one one, CNK. Yeah, I mean, what a way to tie it back up, right? I mean, that first map, it just felt like the sling. Well, no, it's and, all like, because the of the gunfights. We did see the gunfights going back and forth, for, for, I mean, back and forth. But from that last map, we see Manitoba Mallards. They may be able to win these couple of gunfights in mid to keep that mid control. And they are sending K9 mid to, to, to control that. Look at K9 push all the way up mid, all the way in bottom church. Three opening kills by the Manitoba Mallards. So that's how you can show mid control. You just get all the kills to go in your favor, CNK. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could just, if you just get every single kill mid in church, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? I mean, if you just get every kill, let's call it a day. I mean, they're still getting every single kill. They've only had one death on their team. They've killed eight people on the side of Boston. They have A point completely secured. They're already on B. K9, once again, just taking routes to just be annoying. Now, Sleep going to be on this, lining some people up in the back. Boston finally starting to get some kills. Slows that bleeding down, slows the map down a little bit. They've got time to re like reset everything up and just figure out what just happened. <laughs> Man, because that was just a quick A cap. Now there's oh like oh now we just finally hit the two minute mark for them to try to get this B. But Boston, they're finally set up for this uh, uh for this attack brought from from Mato and Mallard's mischief. He's gonna be the aggressive one towards speed five, but K9 saucy with the kills to give them position. K9 onto this B site, trying to get this first segment control. He knows these players are spawning up. Coming from this church side, they have two players on this side. Three players, four players. Word to gyms. They stack the points, CNK. 
I mean, gyms would actually be insanely proud of these guys right now. They've got the stack going on on A and now B. They're going to get all six caps, and they didn't even have to get... Uh, did they even get half the kills on the map before they ended it? Like, what the heck is... Like, not a traditional control map of any kind at all, and they carry the dominance they had in S&D right on over to the control. Yeah, man, they just came out, and they did... <laughs> <laughs> they just they came out with the beat down stick right here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like man, Trevor Mallers is like once you got them down, do not let them get back up. And that's what that first round was. Was like right now we got them down. We're just gonna keep hitting them with lefts and rights and lefts and rights and not letting them go. But now we got Boston Burgers a time a, a time to to regain right here. Try to see if they could, you know, try to steal the offense back for themselves. But Fufa is starting off good with a nice. Opening two kills, opening three kills. Well, he's currently on a four streak for he finally gets taken down. But that, that was a good opening first start for the Boston Burgers. And they started off just as hot as Mantua and Mallers did. Yeah, no, definitely. You're getting that A point right away. Stack the point. We're to gyms. But now we're going to be rotating to this B side. And you're going to see Manitoba's all over this area. But guess what? Boston's pushing right on in from that P5 location up on top. But K9 around the back. And I mean, K9 doesn't even get there yet before pretty much everyone's dead. Only one player left alive. That's going to be Mischief picking up some big kills. And then try to stay alive to help the team out. That's going to be Mills, actually, it looks like, in the back tank. Actually, both of them are still alive as Mills. Piecing people up in the back on a three streak right now. Just trying to hold this back, like, church back tank area down as his teammates are coming from over the top. Yeah, Mills may be in prime position to let his team get to get this control site. Flew bot with a nice two kills onto the hill as he finally gets onto this B site. There is one segment progressed at this B site. They're looking to get this second segment. K9 is making the route, take off Flew bot off the time. But Mills, he is still in the back. Finally just had to get off that tank, Eddie. Try to get himself in a better spot so he can protect his teammates. And he runs into a gunfight for he finally gets taken down by K9. So Shoku's on his time before he finally gets taken out. There is the clearance that's about to come in by the Mads Hubert Mallers, but Boston Burgers did do a great job to take a four life lead with a minute 30 left. Yeah, I I like the life lead. I like the fact that you already have a tick on B, but because you lost the first round on defense, you have to win this offense here to really give yourself a shot on, in the long term, especially because Manitoba did it with six rounds, but it's never over, right? At any point in time, like, you could get crazy round favors and everything. But right now, Manitoba starting to finally get that, like, strong defense that we saw kind of, like, on the offensive side, right? They're starting to kick things off. Things are going their way a lot more. Still a minute left for Boston to get things going. But K9, once again, just taking fun routes to just get behind people and just being an absolute menace. But guess who's going to the back again, top life? It's going to be Mischief. Not necessarily Mills this time, but Mischief in the back. Going to pick up that kill, opening up that hill for their team. Yeah, and that's three down that they got with letting Floofbot get onto this uh, onto this B site. So he is starting to get progressed. He got to win the gunfight, but sleep is there. That put him to sleep and Floofbot back to his spawns. The only close player up is Mischief right now. These players from Boston Burgers only have one last push to try to get here, and they need uh, Mischief to probably try to make a play to try to get onto this hill as they run through this church area. Here they go, CNK. One last push. And Saucy, he stops the first one. He stops the second one. There's two players back to the spawn. Mischief is here, still here in the back, though. Mills did jump onto the point. So now it's Mills and Mischief. The only two guys back here in the back. Mischief finally gets taken down. And there's Matto and Mallers doing a great job. Five to four with the lives right now. With the clock ticking down, Remy is up for his team. Watching players come to P5, 5 to 3 in lives. This is Boston Burgers' last chance to get here. Yeah, that's going to end the round right there. But, I mean, Boston going to end up getting four ticks. I, I, Remy and K9 both made some big plays there towards the end, both picking up some nice double kills that were insanely talented to do. So, uh, I mean, big props to them for that. This this Manitoba squad is just more and more surprising as the games go on. And now they're going to be back on this offense, opting to go towards this A-side again, and Boston's got to have something for them on defense this time around.
Yeah, man, these Matt Taylor models, man, are just getting hotter and hotter as the series goes on. You can see Sleep putting these fires on that player from Top Church. Mischief, that starts off with a nice opening two kills with the nade, and, and he gets one with his MP40. But Remy is on this A site, getting this progression, progress at this A site. One segment progressed before Fluffy finally comes through and clears that out. But it looks like the players from Matt Taylor models has made it to this B site. And Mills is the one who could defend, but there's four kills that went in the favor of Boston Burgers to clear that B site. Now Mischief is here trying to protect the state site. Yeah, I just got to point out real quick, the reason like they had a lot of success there, it looks like on the map, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. That's completely gone. Uh, the side of Manitoba going to push in, but I like the fact that when B started getting capped, instead of just answering with all four players of Boston, they only answer with like two, three, really, to make sure they don't give up full map control. And because of that, they don't just like immediately lose A. Obviously, they end up losing it in the long term there regardless anyway. A couple of key gunfights, but they kind of just set them up for this part of the map where kills are just going back and forth. And now Boston's like up a lot in the kill range in Man Manitoba. They're going to have a minute and 45 seconds and 16 lives to try to get this B capped. Yeah, so they really should just start playing for lives right now with a minute 40 left. Start playing a little TDM, trying to get the kills to go in their favor because they don't really need this cap. They just need to get the kills. But the kills are going right now, black and forth. Mills right there with a nice trade, but the trades are being there. He's being shot in the back, playing his life before he finally gets killed out by K9. 13 to 21 in lives, a minute and 20 left on the clock. It can these Manitoba Mallards get these 21 kills and win this 3-0 right here or will they be forced to defend these Boston Burkers one more time? Yeah, I mean, I I think the side of Manitoba at this point, it's going to be difficult, right, to win this offense, but I'm, I'm not counting out. I mean, look how many of them they have around this hill. They've got a guy in it, one up top. They've got another one coming from church right now, and they're already getting the kills in the back, but Mills, nice, well-placed grenade right there, and already Boston. Oh. Yeah, they're getting the kills in that back corner alley. They're starting to get some of the kills up top as well. But Manitoba, they still have got a player up in the, like a foothold in the front. That's going to be saucy. Just kind of just chilling, waiting for his team to push up. But there's going to be 40 seconds left. And if they keep getting this slow push like this, this could potentially be the last opportunity they get. And Mischief going to pick up two big kills. Remy going to trade that one out, though. And yeah, that, that should be the end of it for the most part. But I mean, they still have four lives available and Saucy still alive over here. Yeah, they got 24 seconds left to try to get to this point. Saucy is in the back, but he gets bent quickly. Remy takes out himself. Teammates go down. Boston Burgers win that defense round, and Manitoba Miles are going to go on that defense. See if they can close this series out here. Floofy with a nice kill to get that last guy, Saucy, as he was running through that bottom, that back church, little alley area, and you know, Manitoba Mallards, they got to try to close it here on this defense, but Boston Burgers could still keep the fight alive if they could win this offense. Yeah, it's definitely not out of the question to win this one, right? If they win this one with five or six ticks, they should be able to secure themselves that uh, off offensive, uh, sorry, defensive side for the last one. But look at them go quick towards this B side. K9 picks up the first one, couple trades back and forth, two players down for each squad. Now, Floofy by himself over here, trying to make a play on the last player alive towards that top side. But the side of Manitoba just doing a really good job reinforcing this B side of the map, getting the kills over there. But Mills makes a like a like crazy flying Spider-Man play, gets some kills. And now, rotating over towards this A side, they probably think it's free, but look at how many Manitoba players are in that area. Yeah, you can see you can see that uh, that they're over there at that area, but Mischief is trying to be a nuisance to try to be in their spawns, but nobody's going down for the size of the Manitoba Mallard. So Mischief is just back here playing his life for he finally has to get on this A site, waiting for these players from Manitoba Mallards to try to come there, try to take them off this site. But Manitoba Mallards, they have full main control of this map, but there's two kills that just went in the favor of Manitoba Mallards to try to ease off the pressure that Manitoba Mallard was bringing on the Boston Burkers. Yeah, I mean, just like you were saying, that pressure that was alive for so long, like Boston was finally able to break it, kind of get some map control back and everything. But now, Manitoba bringing that right back. They've got that They've got that A side control, but they've got a player coming around the back right now. Sleep reads that one like a book, picks up that kill, goes right back to A. They've got one player over towards that B side to deal with things as well. That's going to be uh, K9, who's just a like, do-it-all player for this team. And now they're going to be keeping reinforcing that B side just to make sure they don't lose anything over there. This A side, though, 
Boston is just full on assaulting it over and over and over again. Asleep. Going to go around the back. Gets shot. Just gets taken down there as A is going to be fully capped. Now, only B left. But Boston in a decent situation here. You got a minute and 15 seconds. It's not the best situation you could possibly be in, but they've got a decent amount of time and plenty of lives to work with. They have they have 16 lives to work with. To try, I mean, they have 13 lives to work with to try to get to this B site. They're trying to run through the church place. Saucy, he gets Shoku, takes him down, gets away with his life. So that was a great play right there to defend that first place. But he just got chased down by Mills. Remy is there to get a nice two-piece to send two of the Boston Burkers back to their spines. Now it's 15 to 10 in lives for the size of the Manitoba Mallards. They only got 10 seconds to a nine. Well, now, now it's only nine left, not nine lives left. 38 seconds to defend these Boston Burgers and to win this control. Yeah, I, it, it's su it's going to be super tough top left. I mean, you only got seven lives remaining. It, it just feels like every time we were, were taught, we talk about it, it goes down. Look, it's already down to six. I mean, the side of Manitoba, they just have a really big presence on the map at any given time. And it, it really comes down to guys like K9 who are just constantly on those flanking routes, just always hitting you from behind, just making the map as small as possible, even though it's a pretty big map. And I, kills are going back and forth. Boston sells a chance here. They're still... They still got, a, like, what, two lives left here? But realistically speaking, this is Manitoba's game already. Yeah, Manitoba, they won this game already. Teamwork was the key of that one. Even though we was mentioning that uh, that player, um, so, uh, man, I can't forget his, I forgot his name because I just saw so many other names. But Sauzy, he had 25 kills himself. Three other players that. The Boston Burgers are currently up in the series two to one as they getting ready to end this try to end this series on this Gabuchi hard point. But we can see Manitoba try to force a game five here in this in this series. Yeah, I mean, let's see what we can get going, right? Manitoba's gonna do their best to get it done. Already fighting for this P1 once again. Kills going back and forth in favor of Manitoba for the most part. But Mischief on that AR, like we were talking about last time around. Like, him being the full swap to that is actually something we really like on this team, right? He's just a really creative player. He's already picking up a couple kills, but he does get taken down. And Manitoba, basically the exact same start, right? They get the first 12, 15 seconds or so in Boston. You know, they're probably going to get a break here just like last time. Yeah, and they're on this hill right now, Manitoba Mars with 20, getting the opening 20 seconds right now, this hill, getting ready to see if they get rotation to this boat control, but Boston Burgers is already here. That was a great opening hill to not allow Boston Burgers to get any time on that P1, but Mills is trying to get him on this rotation. K9, he's going to be a man trying to get through this top boat area, trying to stop these players from Boston from getting in. The rest from getting this early time, and there's a break right there by Manitoba Mounds with three down. They're breaking to this hard point. Now they got full control of this P2 hard point. I mean, I don't know if you can get any more control of a P2 hard point. It looks like control. I mean, they're literally stacking it. Like, word to gyms, by the way. I mean, it, <laughs> I don't know what's going on other than the fact that the last, like, 50 kills on the map have gone the way of Manitoba and K9 on a six streak. Yeah, K9, he's currently on a strict streak, trying to look for a seven streak. Remy's going to get a battle while he goes on to his fifth streak. See if he can find his six. The player jumped on down the top rope, but Remy takes him down. Remy got, it was on six before he got taken down, but K9 did manage to get his seventh, his seventh uh, streak. So he has this glide bomb. This rotation for P3 is on, and it looks like Manitoba Mallers has a player in Saucy already on the hill. Yeah, he's over there. He's just chilling in that landing crap. But Shoku tries to get to him. Just gets absolutely gunned from up top there. I think that was Remy with a sub. And the side of Manitoba already holding this P3 well. They've got those They've got those players coming off a spawn like Mills and Co. And Mills, he's just chilling, trying to contest this point. He's got his pistol out. He's going to try to kill this player in the lander. But that's going to be just kills going the way of Manitoba over and over again. Is they're already going to be up 80 to 16 in Sazi. He's like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to get out of this thing. I'm going to start storming the beaches myself. Gets a couple kills, goes right back down into the grave there as Mills pushes up. Inside of Boston, going to have control of this hill finally and a little bit of map control. But for the most part, Manitoba, I mean, they are just having their way with it at the moment. 
Yeah, the rest of scrap time was supposed to go in the favor of Matt Super Matters, but Sleep said, no, sir, not today. I'm going to get the rest of this scrap time for my team to probably push this team up to the 100 point mark, 100 to 27, as this P4 getting ready to jump off. The battles are going down, being won by the size of the Boston Burgers. Mischief has got his way all the way in the back, trying to get control of the spawns. For his team, as his hill pops off, early control this hill is in the favor of the Mount Hood Mallards. Mischief is here for a battle. The trades are going back and forth. It looks like it's been won by the size of Boston Burgers, but there is sleep right there with other kills. There is Shoku, and Boston Burgers have controlled this hill temporarily. Yeah, they're going to try to hold this one down as long as they can, but those close spawns from Manitoba already paying off a little bit for them as they're getting some nice kills. Yeah, Remy going to pick up two big ones there. One more player over here to deal with close by. He's going to get full stunned by him. That's going to be Mills. Picks up a nice kill with a pistol, though. Now, Floof trying to push in to help his teammates out here the best he can. They just want to try to get this contested. The, the bleeding on the map needs to stop at some point. And, uh, and we're going to have this rotation coming through to P4, but they've already got a player. That's going to be K9. That man who's just everywhere on the map at any given time, already all the way in the back, ready for these spawns. Going to pick up that first kill. Going to rotate back and wait for the teammates to help out. Yeah, he's in the back right here, trying to wait for his teammates to get through there. You see, there's no pre there's no presence onto this hill right now because he's back here just being a nuisance. But there is two, three kills that went in the favor of Boston Burger. Shoku is currently on this hill, trying to get some hard point time for his team because he doesn't want his team to go down, be down so much as the second set of rotations click off. But he gets taken down by Manitoba and Miles. Kills are going back and forth. In in like Manitoba, uh, Boston Burgers have won the kill battle and Mills is on this hill just waiting for anybody from Manitoba and Miles to challenge him down this little dirt path. Yeah. Uh, these these guys on Boston, I, I like this hill out of them. Like, right, this is kind of like their comeback hill for the most part. Just get yourself back in the game. Yeah, you're still down by 70 points or so, or like 60, sorry. But, like, it's a good start to just getting yourself all the way back in the game, getting getting those, like, rotations and setups back. Now, as I say that, Manitoba is going to have all four players on P1 stacking it like it's a control point once again. But uh, the side of Boston, they're spawning up from that P3 side trying to push up. And they start out with two big kills, which is going to be a chance for them to push this in. Yeah, and Manitoba Mount has full control of his P1 hill. You can see Shoku trying to make his way through this ringside. He does find one opening kill, and there is a break by the Boston Burgers to get on this hill. There is a player from, that came on the stairs. That was Jimmy. He got taken down by Mills. Boston Burgers, great job of breaking the hill. Great job of keeping these players from the Manitoba Mount from not getting able to break back into this hill. Yeah, and I mean, right now, they're getting some insanely quality time, but the side of Manitoba trying to push this in, but Boston gets a great hold here. Gets Ooh. most of the time. You're going to see Mischief on that five. Make that a six. That man is better with a pistol than Shadow. Actually not. No one's better than Shadow with a pistol. I'm <laughs> but I mean, I had to say it. Floofy on that six kill streak does end up getting taken down. Mischief, guess what, though? He gets the full seven. He's going to have full streaks, and look at the score. Going from being down, what, 70, 80 points to now, only being down 30 and getting the kills for this rotation. I am loving what I'm seeing out of Boston at the moment. Yeah, man, that's three kills right there just win their favor. They got control of this P2 hill. 139 to 120 is the score line of this hill. They have two players currently on this hill. Blue Bot trying to get top bowl control, but he gets taken down by sleep. K9 comes in from the front. Boston Burgers did do a great job holding that hill, but they instantly got taken down by the manager of yeah, they definitely had a very strong start to that, but Manitoba right back to what they were doing at the beginning of the game, just kind of full pushing through the map, getting that full pressure that they want at any given time. And things are just going great for them is they're going to have to get ready for this P3 rotation. And look who's back here, Saucy. They get a guy snuck in this backside pretty much every time. This time it's not K9, though, it's Saucy. He's going to, oh, oh he's going to, he's got a chance to kill that player. And I, I don't know if he actually got that. I, I think he did, but... uh He's going to have a couple more players behind him and one in front of him on this hill. He gets shot in the back at the perfect time there. Boston picks up a big kill. They're going to have to try to get a lot of time on this hill if possible, and they're set up for it, but guess who's around the back? It's Remy. That glide bomb, though, going to give him away for the side of Boston. He gets taken down. He does get one kill. No, actually, he's still alive back there. I thought he died. That was sleep, and now he's in the back. Boston not able to deal with them, and those spawns should go the way of Manitoba. As I say that, Boston still spawning towards that green area. And things have become absolutely chaotic for this this squad right now. Yeah, here comes the glide bomb by Mischief right now, trying to clear this hill. Four kills, I mean, three kills win in the favor 
<laughs> for the matter of matters. Glide Bomb does not phase them. They still have control of this hill. Remy's the last one on this hill. It's going to be all bunch of Boston Burger trying to get him off. He wins that battle against Shoku before he finally gets taken off. This rotation is on for this P4 uh, hill, and it's going to be Boston Burgers is here. But look at Saucy. He's trying to make a play to give his team control of the spawns for his team. He does finally get taken out by Shoku. Spawns are still in the favor of Boston Burgers. Yeah, nobody's getting through my brother Shoku right now. He's got a couple players to beat, but he gets some help back there from his boy Mills, and uh, looks like Mischief was over there. And now K9 trying to push through the front, gets taken down. Now, this is some time right here that could help out the side of Boston a lot. That team kill is going to hurt a lot. Saucy picks up two. Team kill comes in. That's three dead. That's going to basically immediately be broken by the side of, side of Manitoba. Just an unfortunate team kill to come through. But now Boston pushing through the front. Shoku at the front of the pack. Picks up one. Gets another one weak. His teammates are pushing in right behind him. A couple of them get gunned down. Now, Floofy. Got to make a move here as he's trying to push up. He gets shot in the side. And Manitoba, once again, just getting a lot of side pressure and front pressure on these hills when they have them under control. Yeah, and they, they got a 224 and it's 150 lead. Getting the rest of that scrap time. So when this pops off, it should be a 237 and 150 uh, lead for the size of the of the man of the match with Mallards. All they got to do is just get one good break here, and you can see the winning this map on this P5. But the score line is so lopsided in their favor that they do, do not have to get a, a necessary break here they can wait to p1 but you can see k9 is already starting off with one kill remy looking for another one looking for two remy and the and the matter of mallards with a nice break remy snapped off for three they get four eight seconds left for the matter of mallards to win this game and all of Boston burgers are trying to come through the dirt path see if they can make it in time but the kills are going in the favor of the matter of mallards and they win this surgeon and they win this hard point 250 to 161 yeah, and that's going to send us to a game five. I mean, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. And I mean, judging when off all the that. The close out our pre May week brought to you live exclusively by the COD Reckley. CNK, let's get it. Let's get going. And look at that. We're going to see Boston going towards this A side. They want to get those SMGs nice and mixy in this hill. I, mean, sorry, I say hill, but this A bomb site, Sh uh, Shoku, doesn't know there's a guy at the end of this. this uh, point here he's waiting for someone to come around that back alley towards those back pillars there but for now no one's there that he knows of there's definitely someone just laying down just chilling that's our boy K9, always just sitting in mixy spots now boston just trying to take it easy into this a bomb site now mischief pushed up pretty far he's got himself a nice wall buddy right in front of him here and they're just chilling everyone's just chilling right now that bomb's gonna get planted and people are gonna be like hey yo i gotta make a move now remy gets spotted right away he's gonna seize a couple guys shoku gonna get that kill on k9 back alley now remy making a move he's gonna see somebody gets a little bit of help and takes down shoku but gets traded out immediately yeah now it's a 3v2 advantage for the size of the boston burgers they kind of got the lead mischief got to make a play right here he does make that play leave it a 1v1 you got sleep coming down this train alley no, there's 20 seconds left for him to view. He's on the bomb right now. Is Mischief going to know? Is he going to make the play? Is Sleep going to get the defuse in time? I think Sleep, oh, Sleep, just, oh, he did get the defuse. Oh, I was about to say, okay. Sleep got the defuse in time. Sleep, welcome to Team Ninja. You have made it. Let's go. Yeah. You've been knighted to the Ninja team, right? Like, <laughs> welcome to the squad. I think to be on the team ninja though, you gotta at least have three people from the other team on it to, you know, to make a qualifier. So that was just a great oh, defuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's just say this is a great defuse. His team ninja pass has not been there, but we his his eyes, if his application is in play for team ninja. Yeah, you know, he's got the start, right? He's got one out of three three boxes uh ticked off there. But now <laughs> the side of Manitoba pushing this B point. Remy, he's going to be up real close and personal right now. He's got to deal with Mischief around the back. It's going to be a nice kill happening on the other side of the map there from Floofy. Well, towards the middle, towards that, like, top three area, that Mischief. He's trying to figure out if someone's over at this B site. I think he knows someone's in the area, and Remy is going to be right there. Look at that bomb. He's going to start getting planted on Mischief. Is he, yeah, look at that. He's hopping in. He's going to, oh, he sees the legs. Doesn't get the kill, though, right away. That bomb is going to be planted, but it is going to be a 2v4 situation. Manitoba... I mean, they've got a slight advantage, I guess, because of the side of the map they're on, but you got to think Boston's going to be able to maneuver this eventually. 
Yeah, sleep and uh, sleep is the last one alive. He is on the bad position. He got the sub, I think, in his hand. Mischief is going for the defuse. Sleep is going to have to make a play that he made earlier in the search and destroy, but he gets taken out by Shoku. And there is a round win by Boston Burgers. They was not going to let Sleep do what he did to them earlier. Yeah, I mean, you know, that would be fun to see, right? If a guy like Sleep could get that done again. But Shoku, you know what? The guy's deadly on the map. You never want to run into him. He gets it done. And I mean, now I Boston, they get a nice defuse there. They're going to tie things back up one-to-one. -one. They're going to be on this offense. Now, the real question is, are they going A? Or are they going to say, hey, Manitoba tried B. Let's try B ourselves. Uh, we'll see here. But it looks like they're going towards this A site right here, full sending towards it. Looking like they're going to keep playing this A site. If it's not broke, I guess they're going to say, we're going to keep working on it. I guess it's a strategy that they worked hard on this week. So that's what they're going for, this A site. Shoku just playing on top of these stairs, hoping for a K9 to pick around that corner. But K9 is just being so disciplined, not moving an inch. And you can see that these players now are all stalemated right here in front of this A site. I mean, shout out to K9 for not having any stick drift, by the way. I mean, the guy is just looking forward, but Shoku, I don't, yeah, he doesn't see the gun barrel or anything, but K9 is just so patient. He, he like, he's got to be able to hear those jumps every once in a while. Well, actually, no, maybe not because of Ninja and everything, but still, he just sits there and waits. But now Boston pushing into this A site, getting this bomb down, getting shot at from across the bridge, but Shoku says, screw it, I'm going to plan anyway. But K9 sneaks in the front. He sees that gun sticking through the glass. He's going to back off, actually. Somehow it doesn't end up getting traded out. And now things are already getting kind of crazy in this hill as he's going to get taken down. Yeah, he's finally got taken down after that crazy play. Here's Sleep right here trying to make a play, but he gets take, he gets traded out quickly. It's three to one in life advantage for the size of the Boston Burgers. Saucy, last man alive, trying to come through this train area, see if he can find anybody on this bomb. He's making a slow play. He's running to the bomb. He's like he's gonna hop it, just straight hop it, but nope. It does not work in his favor. Boston Burgers go up two to one in this series. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's one of my favorite moves right there that Saucy did. I'm just, you just go like, you know what? It's a 3v1. I got no idea where anyone is. I'm going to try to defuse the bomb. You know what? Didn't work that time, but maybe next time. Yeah, maybe that time. So, you know, they, they're, they I guess, I guess Manitoba Mallards are trying to get on Team Ninja. I guess they want their application so bad, mm -hmm. but Boston Burgers are not allowing it right now. So you can see Mischief right now, currently on a five streak right now doing what he needs to do for his team to try to win this round 11 here in this in this matchup looks like the bomb is in this p2p yeah p2 building closer to this b side mischief he's here he's like he's gonna hold down the b building miles your miles look like they don't even know what they want to do with this bomb right now yeah i think they're just trying to figure out where anyone is right it doesn't seem like they've really spotted anyone on the map yet and so they're just trying to figure out can they even really make a move towards B side or do they have to go back to A? It looks like they're opting towards maybe trying to rotate to A as we see them making a move now. But ooh, K9 going to see Mills there across the map. Doesn't quite get it, get any hits on him or anything, but he definitely noticed him. And now Boston kind of shuffling things up a little bit as the side of Manitoba looks like they're opting towards going back to B, hoping maybe the side of Boston decided to back off. But things are going real slow. Manitoba still has 30 seconds to plant, so they've got plenty of time. Yeah, and these Boston Burgers, they are just playing discipline. Now moving fluid, finally opens up with the first blood, trying to get two, but he finally gets taken out by Sleep. Sleep with another kill on the Mischief. Now the bomb is going down on this B site with a, two, a three to two life advantage for the Manitoba Mallards. Show cool, he's putting shots down on to this player that's in the back. Looks like it's Sleep. Sleep does get away with his life with only a like less than 30 seconds left to try to defuse this bomb it looks like it's going to be a tough task for the boston burgers yeah i mean shoku just rushes into the b site there ends up picking up a kill he's got one more player to deal with that's going to be sleep over by those barrels now they're just going to be taking shots back and forth it looks like here but shoku has no hp he's going to end up having to push sleep here get some good damage off but not going to really be in time or anything now he's just kind of trying to play for the kill here gets behind sleep gets that kill and now he's just going to run away and just, uh, yeah, shoot the sky a little bit. Maybe maybe try to shoot some buildings. But, uh, hey, you know, good round on the side of Manitoba. And, uh, you know, Boston, got to keep her going.
Yeah, Boston right now, man. They just lost the round. But Manitoba getting that round two win to tie this series up. You know, Surgeon Destroy like it went in that earlier. Surgeon Destroy like it's going to be another. Uh, I mean, no, it was different. And Manitoba just straight out ran Boston Burgers. Looking like we're going to get a different story here on this Berlin as Boston Burgers are putting up a fight. It's this round 11. And let's see where they're going to try to go with the bomb here. They're going towards this A side again. And Manitoba Mallers has sent two. Yeah, K9 once again laying down on that backside Shoku. He's like, you know, I know he's back here, but just a matter of where. <laughs> and so he's going to try to find him. He's going to check that close right corner. Doesn't see him, but K9 pops up. He gets the free kill and he's going to move on with his day. And now the side of Boston only in a, th in a 3v4 now. So they got to fight down with a man down. Yeah, man, K9 just getting himself into the spot. Even though that was his first kill of the Surgeon Destroyer, he's still putting himself into this weird position. Mills going over the top rope to find Remy. They even this up to a 3v3. That was a great play by Mills. A site has to be controlled. They know the A site is controlled, but the bomb is down on these outer stairs area. Mischief, he's trying to go for a chase. He finds another kill onto K9. Bomb, bomb has been picked up. Legs going towards the A site. Sleep takes out Mischief as he's running through the secret area going now towards the back he is going to get off oh, he if he didn't can't run through the back he would have ran head up into food bob but he decided to take the route through secret he gets the bomb planter but bomb did get planted it's a 1v1 now flu bot versus saucy yeah floof just kind of trying to play his time right now but saucy you know he's going to try to play this out or just looking for him a little bit seeing what he can find and he's going to play yeah he's going up these stairs now he's going to go towards the bomb and guess what he knows exactly where floofy is now on those stairs going to go for this defuse a little bit of a cheeky move floofy's going to repeat that get the kill and go up three two yeah man that was a great play right there by floofy by taking his time playing his life to getting that last kill you know on saucy because saucy immediately went for the bomb plant and i don't know why these these uh man's home haven't got the picture that they need to close the door hide behind something because these boston burger players are checking the bomb <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they like to check that bomb every once in a while, right? Especially with Floofy. I mean, he kind of has that idea of where that player's at. He knows he's in that bomb site area, so he's going to check it a little bit more often. Look at this. The side of Manitoba saying, you know what? Let's not go get locked down at B this time. Let's go to A if possible. But Shoku, he's playing in K9 spot now. He's just going to go chill in a corner for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like uh, Manitoba Mouse only sent one player up to this uh to this uh, a site right now trying to get some picks now you can see his teammates are trying to are starting to come in and have his back so the bomb should be making his way into this a building site should be going down shortly you got uh shoku just playing outside the bus as soon as this bomb get planted shoku's gonna be the first he's gonna make a move he's probably gonna be the first one onto this bomb site yeah shoku he's on those outer stairs he gets taken oh. down by saucy now gonna be a 3v4 situation in it into the advantage of manitoba they're set up all over this site. They've got a couple of people kind of buffering out. Sleep going to pick up a kill on Mills. Mischief going to answer back, though, and take down K9. But a floof bot, look at him crawl up these little stairs by a tower. He's going to get behind a player, take him down. Now it's a 2v2 situation as Boston's pushing this A site in. Hey, Boston's are doing a good job right now trying to retake this A bomb site, but the time limit is now now down in their favor mischief has to try to get this kill on to fubla fubla is defusing but he gets taken down by remy last one alive man told mallers did a great job of playing the time of getting Flubot off of the bomb and tying this series up three to three yeah i mean we saw that player from Manitoba just kind of chilling in bottom secret. He sees uh, Mischief run. Like, I think it was Mischief who ran out here. And instead of chasing him, he just waited, right? He let his teammate know about it. And he's just trying to get as much info as possible. Played the delay. Killed Floofy on the, on the bomb defuse. And it gave him plenty of time to win the round. Yeah, now it's 3-3 three, three with... These with with uh with nobody with the clear advantage, but we this is round seven, lucky round seven. So let's see who is going to take it. Look like Boston Burgers are going for this B site, going around the building, which is a way to try to avoid some of those nades. But sleep, he's on his way here. Let's see if sleep's gonna make his way into the building before Shoku kind of makes it there. The the fight is gonna be on. Shoku did kind of see him. Teammate did have his back, and there is the bomb going down at this B site. Yeah, that bomb does get planted indeed. And now Saucy trying to make a move up the middle of the map, which is a little bit scary because, you know, he's, he's pretty uh, out in the open, but no one's really moving to take him down right now. Obviously, he knows that because he's not getting shot at. <laughs> 
But the side of Boston, they've got two people in. The, well, one in that B site, one out towards those boxes. K9 gonna take pick up that kill. Ooh, another kill on the other side of the map. Make that another. Is now Boston in a one v three. Shoku by himself on this B bomb site. They know he's here. He got he got stunned. He picks up the first one. Another one pushes in and takes him down. And that bomb is gonna get diffused by none other than K9. Yeah, and this match of mouth is going up four to three in this search and destroy right here let's see if they can try to win another round to go at five three to get the momentum all the way in their sides or will we just have another back and forth battle going between these two teams yeah it's, it's been the classic like pretty much i don't want to say necessarily all series long but there's been there's been a battle that we've been seeing for sure in this series and now on this map it's nothing different right now boston gonna be on that defense and this side of manitoba I mean, they want to get as many rounds spaced out from Boston as possible. So this is their opportunity. It looks like they're going to go back towards B, back to the bread and butter they had early game. And let's see what they can get going. Let's see what they can get going right here. We got the bomb already in this P5 building, holding by Remy. He's trying to, he, they're, they're waiting, trying to wait to see where they're going to go. Are they going to go to this B side? There is a Mills trying to make a play for the size of the Boston Burgers. You know, these, these teams are now just trying to slow it down when it gets to these later rounds because they do not want to make no mistake. And there's Remy starting off with the opening first butt on the flu bot. Yeah, I mean, you got to love it when you get that first blood, right? Especially when you're already up around in a game, like a game five. Like, this, it's got to feel good. But now these guys are rotating over towards this A side. But look at that. Boston not really in position to be over there. Shoku, obviously, he does, it looks like he saw the cross a little bit. He's going to be on that cutoff now. But, oh, Mills wins a nice gunfight in the middle of the map before getting taken down. Now, Shoku kind of ends up behind this, this squad of Manitoba. Picks up one. Looks like he saw that bomb getting planted, but he decided to keep on moving as they actually stop planning. It looks like they decide they want to try to maybe push through or something, but Shoku oh, just barely gets some bad timing. Remy runs right past him towards that B bomb site. Guess what? <laughs> That's going to go get planted. <laughs> Wow, that was just crazy right there. We just we we just witnessed right there. We just saw my man make it all the way to the B size, the two on two. Salzy is still holding down this A size. So Salzy probably could be the player to make the play for his team as he's gonna catch these players from the back as he's getting through it. He's just finally trying to bust the, the window because it went over for him. But there is 30 seconds left for these Boston Burgers to try to get the diffuse. And they gotta try to team up. But Saucy, I think he saw mischief running on his outer dock area. Ooh, Mischief. I, I thought he was turning around there. Oh, my God. Okay, Mischief has some nasty shots there. Now, Mischief Sh Shoku going to push into this B site. Not a lot of time. They're going to get that diffused. I mean, oh, my. Uh, the side of Boston really wants that win. And Mischief, 11-3, and three, just uh, doing his thing. Yeah, 11 and 3. And man, I swear I thought he lost that gun battle, but he ended up winning that gun battle. That was big. And Boston Burgers right now, 4 to 4. Tie this series up. We're in our later rounds right now, CNK. It's the best of two right now. Whoever can win the next two rounds are going to be the winners of this match. I mean, this is close as it gets, right? I mean, you love to see it. Mischief, he's come to play today. And I mean, I'm, my guess is they're going back to A site, right? Top life. No, you know, I take it back. It looks like they, ooh, they haven't decided yet. They're going eh, mid, eh, B. Yeah, they still haven't decided. They're going back and forth. Looks like they're going B, but the side of Manitoba going to be able to respond properly. They have a player over at B already. It looks like we're just getting the stall tactic out of Boston at the moment. Yeah, that 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 indecisiveness is causing them now to bunker down in this P2 building because now they got to try to figure out some information. They're trying to see if Flubot seen anybody cross, and I don't think Flubot called out called out the cross. So they probably think that they're fully set up at this B site. So now they got to just try to take their time and see if they can find anybody from this Manitoba side because, like I said, it's the best of two right now, and all these rounds are important. Yeah, I mean, so important to the point of, like, I like, look what Manitoba's doing, right? They're just not really moving much, and as soon as someone does, Mills just takes them right out. But Shoku pushes into B, gets oh. a nice gunfight right there, and he's going to get the bomb down. Now, Manitoba... In a little bit of a deficit player-wise, it's a 2v4. K9 just runs right through the middle of the map, gets shot in the back. Last player alive going to be Remy. And you got to think, with the way this is looking, Boston's going to take another round.
Yeah, man. Unless Remy just gets super clutch for us right here. He's in this back chain area. Look like he may just be playing his life right here. He knows when he jumps out. This, I don't think he knows when he gets out. This building's going to be a player sitting right down. <laughs> and he tries to get him with the pistol. But that is a Boston Burger win to go up five to four to be one round away, CNK, from winning this series and getting their first win on the board. Yeah, uh, you know, that match point's got to feel real sweet right about now. I mean, Mischief, 12-3 and three at the moment. That guy's ready to go, right? I mean, these two teams, I mean, we're seeing it right now. I mean, Manitoba, they're on this offense now. They're going to push towards a site, And this is a must-win right here. This is do or die. This is do or die right now. And Manitoba are going to put all their marbles onto this A site. But Mills shuts down sleep. Three to four life does advantage for these Manitoba Mellers. As K9 now just says, I got to get aggressive. I got to win this gunfight. And he just absolutely destroys Fubot looking for Mills. But he cannot take down Mills. But the call out is made for Remy. You got to go get him, Remy. And Remy gets taken down. And Lee Saucy, last one alive. It leaves Boston Burgers trying to find Salsi for them to win this series. The shots are made. They found him, and the Boston Burgers have won this series. CNK six and four. Boston Burgers first win on the on to the board, and now they have a win in the gold pre-made South Division. CNK. I mean. They